Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Winch here with Defenders USA. I'm at the Rio Salado Sportsman's Club near Phoenix, Arizona, actually in Mesa. And we're in one of their training bays, and I want to show you something that I'm going to be working on today. And I want you to give, so, give it some context. The context is we just had an active shooter, uh, what, two days ago now, that was at a mall that walked in and opened fire. And it sounds like a young 22-year hero, uh, constitutionally caring in that place, pulled out his handgun and from what I understand at this point, from about 40 yards, made incapacitating shots to Mr. Dirtback. So I'm not sure on the distance, but that's what I understand. So I want to show you this target here, right? I'm using one of concealedcarry.com's targets, and we're going to be shooting at this box right here. And just think of it as this area right here, kind of where the good stuff is, okay? We're going to be shooting at this, but I'm going to be shooting at it at 10 yards. I'm going to put it on a beeper, and my goal is to draw from concealment, right? My H&K VP9 handgun and a Haven Defense Seal holster appendix carried is to clear the garment, drive the gun out, and make an accurate shot on target right now, just for now, in two seconds or less. Uh, and then I want to work it down to less than 1.5 seconds. So I'm not gonna take a lot with these, but I just wanna show you uh, shooting at that distance. I think that this is a desperately needed skill for us in the firearms world, to be able to make accurate shots at distance. I like to see be able to make, say, head shots, uh, or really what I would call face shots in, the, in that kind of distance. And right now, I just want you to show what it would look like for me doing this. And ultimately, I'm challenging you, the gun carrier, to be able to do this. Now, here's the problem with shooting at distance. You shoot at distance like this, oftentimes because people's grip isn't really good or they don't know how to manage the trigger well, then next thing you know, the shots get wide. So more often than not, I see people shoot low. And that's oftentimes because they forget their pinky, right? On a handgun, you need that pinky to create the counterbalancing torque point to the gun itself so that when you press the trigger, it doesn't go down. So you've got to really engage that pinky high and hard in the back strap, tight with the pinky here, a nice grip, but tight with this pinky, and then tight with this hand, and then also with the pinky, that keeps the gun from being from moving down in the trigger press. It keeps it flat and straight. So that's what we're going to working, be working on. Now, notice Mr. Bert Dirtbag here is leaning over slightly because the ground's slightly tilted. So let's not worry about that. We're just trying to put it right here. So let's go ahead and walk this, this back. Now I'm going all the way out to 25 yards. As you can see, we're gaining distance from the target itself. And it's only 107 degrees right now out here. So thankfully we're gonna be under the canopy and out of the sun. And I'm gonna be set up right here. And hopefully you can see me. So I am right here at the 25 yard mark. So right now my gun's downloaded. I don't have anything in it, it's empty. Let's step the camera back just ever so slightly. Okay. So at this distance, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using this beeper right here, this timer. This timer is currently set for two seconds. So let me go ahead and set that off. One Chicago, two Chicago. There you go. It's two seconds. So now notice I'm currently... I've got nothing in the gun, so let's try a couple dry fire reps. Oh, bad garment clearance, bad garment clearance. Okay, that would have been inside the two, fr two second time mark. Okay, close to about a 1.75, let's give it one more. Okay, so now let's go ahead and load this up. So guns loaded, let me carefully, safely work it back to the holster. All right, so here's the other issue. Now I'm currently zeroed at 10 yards. So that with my optics, so that means that the bullet, which is down here and the optic, which is here, the bullet intersects at the, 
at, at the where the optic is at 10 yards, which means it also continues to climb past 10 yards. So the hack code for somebody zeroed like me at closer ranges, the hack code is if I'm trying to hit this area here to aim slightly low, but that dictates that my grip and pinkies must be used well. If you're shooting an open carry or open sighted gun, which are generally zeroed somewhere about the 25 yard range, right? You may want to hold dead center as long as you know your grip is right, you're not going to go down. If you're that person who just can't seem to engage the pinkies, or I had a student the other day, his tendon in his pinky is literally severed. There's no anything in the pinky. His hack code or cheat code is to go ever so slightly high because he knows he's going to go down and it brings down. But at 10 yards, I need to be a little bit low because my round is climbed past the 10 yard range. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. I'll give you the time afterwards and I'll tell you where if I see, I, if I can see the target itself. Okay, bad one, caught my fingernail. In fact, let's go ahead and set this here so you can see this. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better. Okay, working it away. Now I called my shot, it was somewhere to the left inside that box. Actually, I can see it. So if you're looking at it, it's actually from my side to the right. So if this is dead center, the bullet's about right here. So it's within the box, it's a good shot. Okay, let's do it again. That was a 1.66, so 1.66 seconds. So that was a 1.73, 1.73, and I think the shot went up here. So that was a bad shot on my part. So I know it tells me I need to tighten up my wrist a little bit. Okay, that is dead center. In that box, there's also a B8 with a 10 ring. It's in the 10 ring, so that's dead center. Let's do it again. Oh, by the way, that was a 1.79, 1.79. Here we go, back to 25 yards. So I can't quite tell where that's at. Let's do it one more time, then we'll walk up and take a look at the target. I think I've fired four so far. This will be number five. All right, here we go. Okay, so that was a 1.66. If you can see it, 1.66. So let's go ahead and take the camera back and just take a look at this. So, 25 yards. Okay, so we've got one out. That would be my second shot. So if you wanna take a look at it, this was my first shot right here. Okay, so inside the box. This is my second shot right here, the one that I called, okay? And I felt that I knew exactly what I did wrong, so I fixed it the next time. This one was my third. This one was my fourth, and this one was my fifth. Okay, so there's five rounds right there. All right, so let's remember this one, because here's what we're gonna do. We're now gonna go back to the 25 yard line, and now we're gonna fire five rounds. And I'm gonna try to get this done in say, oh, five to six seconds. Okay, so 25 yards. Let's put it on a, a different angle here. All right. Let me change the clock real quick. Stand by. So I want to set the clock for six seconds. Okay, so the clock is now set at six seconds. All right, stand by. So, let's see, 25 yards. All right, five rounds, six seconds.
we're gonna let that one go i had a bad grip and i had to readjust my grip okay so let's do this again Okay, I may have hit six on that. So the time was 6.17, 6.17. I could feel some inconsistencies of what I was doing. Uh, let's see if we can see. Yeah, so I fired six shots. So 6.17, I think I said, and the last shot was a 0.77. So five were within the six second time frame. It was just barely within the six second time frame, but it was. Now, let's go and take a look. I will tell you I wasn't happy uh with my grip especially my non-dominant side for me left-handed because god loves right-handers right so i wasn't happy with it but let's take a look at the shots so i fired six rounds so all of them are within the box in fact all of them are within the eight ring if you counted the eight ring which to me the eight ring is kind of the good stuff, right? It's anywhere in here. So this is really a good shot, but I was aiming for this box. So I have one outside and then one, two, three, four, five. So that would be our sixth one. Okay, so that was a six point, whatever it was, one seven, I think, 6.17. And if we take away the, the last shot, which was a 0.77, so you're talking a, a 5.51. 5 so uh, 5.91 would have been all those shots. But anyways, there you go. So just so you see, this is a skill set that I think that we as gun carriers, we have a responsibility uh, to be both quick and accurate with it right even in that last one i didn't have a perfect grip and i knew it i knew one of my shots was slightly off and i knew it but i made sure that i took my time to see everything that i could see to put it where it should be and really if you were looking at the eight ring it's it's excellent shooting if we're looking at this box right i should go flog myself for that but really if you think about that that box is right here am i really going to holler and yell at somebody if they hit here versus right here well we want this but in a fight situation that's a pretty good shot now i could clean up the speed and everything but i think this is good on demand i mean i'm cold i've not shot yet today so good on demand skill for the basic gun carrier and i would challenge you gun carrier verify that you can make these type of shots right i mean we've got to be able to make our hits it's a legal requirement that our bullets go into the things we want them to go into and not the things we don't and to be able to do that especially at the distances i was at 25 yards or in the case of this young hero uh who stopped a mall shooter an active shooter at the mall and my understanding at a 40 yard shot that's impressive and i think that that's one of the skills we need to be able to have not just shooting small stuff up close or very very fast but also take taking considered careful longer distance shots and that's truly a skill set that we all as a community need to be able to do all right so there's a challenge for you again adam winch defenders usa uh please like share subscribe to our channel uh share this challenge of what i'm, I'm asking you to do share it with others that, that you know within the gun community and help them challenge themselves to build the skills to make accurate shots upon demand from distance all right, take care, get good training somewhere, and hopefully with us.